you're gonna smell mixed. Nobody wants to smell like a mixed bag. Smell like the bag, not a mixed bag, okay? Period. Period, so actually. Howdy, hey, babes. My name is Evil Zhuang, and welcome and welcome back to my channel where we glow for a living because we're living within Beyond Skin Tea. Today, <laughs> a very special video. I was seeing this trend on YouTube with like smelling good all day, being fresh, you know, taking care of ourselves as ladies, as the flowers that we are. I just wanted to come to you and have a girly hacks personal hygiene video. This is gonna be very, very detailed, okay? I have my water right here, ret to go, so grab a snack, beverage, and let's get started. I'm in my kitchen area, kind of, kitchen slash living dining. This is very, very key. Smelling good and personal hygiene starts in the kitchen. If you eat like trash, and if you don't have good eating habits, you don't drink your water, you don't eat your vegetables, you don't eat your fruits, healthy fats, you're going to smell not that great. And I just think, you know, it's about time that we don't focus so much on like the perfume we wear rather than the foods that emanate from our body. Tip number one to make sure that you are smelling, you know, clean and fresh is eating clean and eating fresh foods. So drink your water, please and thanks, clink clink. When it comes to, um, you know what I mean, like being fresh, clean, personal hygiene, the first step, honestly, is just cleaning yourself. Like literally cleaning yourself is so important. Please, if you're not taking a shower at the very least once a day, this is your cue to do it because at the end of the day, if you're not, I'm side-eyeing you through this camera. I think everyone deserves a little bit of a side-eye for accountability and accountability is important, okay? So please wash yourself at least once a day. I say twice a day, especially if you work out, but you know what? Please, at least once a day, okay? For cleaning my body, I really um, enjoy Dove Sensitive. This is a beauty bar, it's good for sensitive skin. It's even safe enough for your feminine area. The feminine region is like a whole nother video, so if you want me to do that, just put it down below in the description bar and I can do that for you. But Dove, I'm telling you, the sensitive skin bar, like I keep a stack of these, like, do you? <laughs> we clean over here, <laughs> period. It's important to clean your body. Use that Dove bar soap on your body. You can use it on your face, use it in your feminine area. Give yourself a good lather. I like doing a first round lather with a washcloth and then doing a second round lather with a washcloth. And the washcloth I like better than like a loofah only because, you know, you can use your fingers to kind of get in the nooks and crannies, you know, like behind your ear, your neck between your toes, elbows, knees, wherever you need to go, which I hope you're getting into those crevices, belly button, that's what you need to do. Clean yourself first. Please, a bag. Uh, please, please, please. Ooh, yalla. Next. After I am done cleaning my body, I love a body scrub. Summer is coming up, ladies and brethren. It's coming up. Exfoliation is good for evenness and just joyous skin renewal. I love using this body scrub by Way. It's a scalp body scrub as well, but I use it for the body. First of all, first things first. This, it smells divine. I mean, if you put it in your hair, I would think it's supposed to smell really good, but this smells like a dream. It has like a very natural musky scents. I really love like scents that are very natural but sexy, you know what I mean? And this smells really, really good. I don't know what the notes are. I don't think it's meant to be like a perfume, but it smells very clean, but very expensive, like very luxe. And this foams when you use it. So please, 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 
Yala, please get into this to scrub your body with. I promise you, thank me later, okay? Going into the bathroom still, we're still cleaning our bodies, all that extra stuff. After you get out of the shower, I know some people like to do some hair removal after they get out the shower or while they're in the shower. Girly hack, which I think should be a given in 2021. If you're still shaving, darling, please. We have to level up. A lot of the times we're not, you know, smelling so great because hair does hold on to smells. But also when you're shaving, it's just not the greatest for your skin and the ingrowns and it's just not that cute. So I personally wax, been waxing for years. My preference for waxing is sugaring. I'll go to people to sugar, but you know, since this whole inside situation, I do sugar myself. So here is a my personal bowl of sugaring. I made this myself. I actually got this recipe from someone on YouTube. I'll link her, really great. This is like a softer wax, so I can microwave this for like five seconds and then it'll be good enough for the stick to go in. I stick it, you know, put it like on my arm or something, let it dry and then rip it off. And I go against the grain of my hair and then you pull out towards the direction of where your hair is coming out. Hopefully I said that right, if not, correct me, I won't get my feelings hurt. But please, please, girly hacks, personal hygiene. If you're not waxing, I'm sorry, it hurts, but sugaring is less painful, I promise you. Please level up, your skin will thank you, your skin will be soft, your skin will glow. And for summer, we just don't want strawberry legs, we don't want darkness in our lady regions, we just don't want our flowers to be irritated. So. Please wax, it's better for you. It's a good form of exfoliation and I just think you'll thank me later. And it's a good part of a personal hygiene routine, especially like, you know, if you're someone that likes to have hair removal, I'm not saying that you have to have a bald cat or bald armpits or bald legs, but if you're someone that you care about having really nice, smooth, even skin, definitely get into waxing and don't shave. If you suffer with darkness, you know, melanation, you know what I mean? Like, you want evenness, you don't want the armpits to be really dark or the flower region to be really dark because of the shaving. So just do your body right and wax. I promise you, you'll thank me later, okay? Okay, girly hacks. We've waxed, we're out shower, we're good to go. Moisturizing. <sighs> Moisturizing. I only use a few lotions. It's not that I'm too bougie for certain lotions, but um, darling, certain lotions I think are absolutely magnificent. So let me get into a lotion that I talked about before. I have this in this travel version, but this is Creme de Corpse by Kiehl's. This lotion is by far the best like unscented lotion I've ever, ever, ever used. Like, hey, this lotion is bomb. Um, honestly, I'm just putting some on right now because I've only used like that much. I promise you, my whole hands will, it, it just, do you just see the sheen? Please, I, Kiehl's, please. Kiehl's, if you're watching this, please consider me. Cause, um, you know, small YouTubers need love too. Period. So, next lotion. I don't know if anyone are fans of Body Shop. I am. Their body yogurt lines. Ah, I mean, these are vegan. I have the British Yo Rose Body Yogurt by Yogurt Corpse. British Rose. And I also have the Moringa body yogurt. These two in general just give me aura. It's just channeling softness. When I tell you the skin is looking and smelling and feeling like butter, please, please, please. I'm telling you, one, 
if you love floral clean scents this british rose is giving just got lotion on my lower lip i mean my lips are already big like i don't need lotion on it but you know oh the moringa one is a very clean flowery scent almost powdery if you like baby powder i think you would love these scents because it's just a clean, fresh out the shower smell, and I really love that smell. As a lotion, this is bomb. It definitely makes your body super bomb. You smell nice, and it moisturizes your skin. It's very important to kind of keep that in mind, especially with, you know, summer coming out, arms are out, legs are out. You wanna make sure you're nice and spruced up. Be ready to go, because please, ashiness is not tolerated. I know it's been a real crazy year, We've been inside, but with the amount of time we've been inside, we should get this moisturized game down packed, period. So this lotion is a babe. I love it here. And that's that on that. I know um, I haven't gotten to perfumes and I did that by design. I wanted this video about hygiene. Um, I have a perfume fragrance video already. I'll link it. Um, because this video is more about how to smell good without the perfume, you know what I mean? But I do use body oils after the shower, which I think just changed the game for making sure that your skin is like really should pop in. And it makes sure that, you know, your skin is actually happy and can, you know, be even and glisten and gleaming and glowing for a living. I mean, Zah, Adzoi, please. Your accountability buddy is me. And I will tell you if you're ashy. I will. I have two body oils. One is a perfume oil. One is like a legit body oil. This one is a baby powder oil. Got it online. I love mixing this with any of my lotions. It literally just enhances the aroma of the lotions and it's an oil. So it literally like makes your skin even more succulent. You know what I mean? Or succulent, supple, one of the words. It's a synonym. I don't care if I made it up. Cool. This, I will go, I, I went to go ship a package the other day and the packing lady was like more than six feet away from me, probably 10 feet away. I was like, wow, you smell like body lotion. You smell so good. You smell amazing. Uh, oh, oh, why thank you, good madam. I mean, <laughs> I'm just here to, just to, you know, just to ship a package, but I'll take it. Thank you. People notice when you smell really nice and it's like not that overbearing perfume smell. It's just like, wow, you smell like you're fresh out the shower. You're really clean. You're amazing. Woo. And when you look soft, you smell soft, people just treat you better. I know it's not fair, but this isn't a fair world. Just take advantage, sis. Take advantage, sister. Please take advantage of the body oils. It really elevates whatever lotion you're using. Take it from me. Would I steer you wrong? Come on. Come on. The next one, body oil, that is absolutely stunner. Osea Undaria Algae Body Oil. I mean, let me just open this. This is a body oil that I don't think you guys understand what type of time I'm on with this oil. This oil is absolutely vegan. It has passion fruit in it. It has seaweed in it. It has, hmm, let me get the box with up. Acai, babasu, aromatic roots of citrus and cypress. Okay, if you know perfume and you know these notes, cypress, that's a, you know, if you know, you know. This is absolutely stunning. It's non-toxic, it's gluten-free, it's vegan, it's cruelty-free, it's made in the USA. I'm all about supporting USA businesses in small businesses. This one I think started off small, but it's getting bigger. But when I tell you this oil, I'm just gonna, I'm, so you see it right there. I'm just gonna just add it right here. I, I, it's absolutely this is the best 
body oil I've ever used in all the land. In all the land. No, I'm not gonna flash you, but do you see my? Do you see the clavicle? Do you see the clavicle? I mean, please. I'm not even gonna throw this to the couch because this deserves better. This body oil, please. It, it's amazing, and I use this as like a, you know, just to add a little extra moisture on my knees, elbows, feet, all that extra stuff. Still out the shower. I, if this feels like a long time and you like taking a quick shower and then leaving out the door, I would hope you put clothes on because being naked outside is not the wave. That's just not the girly hack that you would need to be, you know, so fresh, so clean, so bomb, smelling good. You need to take your time. So make sure like if you're an on-the-go person, make time out to pamper your body. Self-care is very important, okay? I'm not saying you have to do all these steps all at once, but for me personally, I make time to do these steps every day or at least every other day, you know what I mean? The last thing I'm gonna mention for the body, I have one more other thing for the feet. Vaseline. So, I don't care who you are, I'm African, okay? Vaseline is tried and true. Vaseline, if you have nothing in your life, please get some Vaseline. This is something that is an amazing, amazing, amazing um, occlusive. And occlusive basically means something that seals in moisture, moisturizing. Um, I love using this at the very end on my knees, elbows. Sometimes I mix the perfume oil with this, or I'll mix this oil with this, so I don't use too much of the oil, because you know I wanna preserve, you feel me? It really makes a difference in my skin. My, I just, I never feel ashy, and Vaseline definitely helps. You know, whenever I get my pedicures, my pedicurist and nail lady never tells me, oh, your feet are real ashy today, or they're real rough. They're like, oh, your feet are soft, you know? Like, so trust, like, <laughs> A real one is out here still making sure that, you know, I'm using Vaseline. Don't ever, ever feel like you're too good for Vaseline. Cause baby, it's the tried and true. Pure yourself. So the next thing that I have is something for your feet. Feet matter. So we went through a lot of body stuff and you can use those things on your feet, but I like going the extra step. This is, kind of beaten up right now but it's from lush it's called softy this is a lavender lotion for the feet specifically Woo! this is giving i love using this kind of sparingly because mostly the vaseline does the work but i'll like mix this in you know whenever i'm having like a really tough foot day like you know wearing heels all day or if I'm soaking my feet in like Epsom salt or something, I really love using this just to kind of give it a little treat, you know? Get back in tiptoe, tip top condition. See what I did there? You know? It's bomb. Like, it's definitely something that I really enjoy. And do you, do you have you noticed a theme here? Everything that I use is either unscented or if it has a scent, it's in the same family of scents. That's also by design. I like wearing things that are going to be in the same family of scents so that if it's layered, it's harmonious and that way I'm not smelling like gourmand over here, fruit over here, sugar over here, um, and then cucumber over here. Like I like flowers a lot. Flowers for me are very sentimental. It's just very personal for me to be a flower. So I just like things that smell clean and flowery and all of that. But not in a grandma way, because I'm not a grandma, okay? You see this? No pimple, please. This is great for your feet. And yeah, like, please, the girly hacks, personal hygiene, you gotta take care of your feet. Especially if you're getting ready for the summertime and wherever you live, the toes is out. Come on. If I see an ashy toe out here, I'm side-eyeing, you already know, I'm a side-eye. We're almost done with the body, almost. We gotta talk about deodorant. I preferably use two deodorants, 
one that I use 99% of the time and another that I use once in a while if it's like for an event or um, something that I know it's gonna be, you know, active, you know what I mean? It's almost done, but I love Waleda. It's a natural skincare brand. This one is the Sage one. They do have a rose one, which I prefer, kind of to go with like the rose um, lotion that I have. But I love the Sage one because the ingredients I feel like are really good under your armpits. The rose one too, but I like um, the Sage one. Natural deodorant, I feel, allows your body to sweat. Under our armpits, we have lymph nodes, and lymph nodes are our lymphatic system is meant to kind of flush our body out with toxins and stuff. If you want to have even skin under your arms or you just want, you know, it to be light and fresh and not a lot of rubbing down there, or not down there, but up here, it helps if you're trying to lighten up your armpits. It's just better, in my opinion, for the pores because it is skin. Like we have pores on our face, but we also have pores on our body. And I just think under the arms, I prefer a spray. Um, so this is Waylada, the Sage 12 hour deodorant spray. Okay, and deodorant is different than an antiperspirant. Antiperspirant prevents you from sweating, which is what I'm gonna get into in the next one. The next one that I use every once in the blue moon, cause I'm not like so natural that I won't use any chemical in my life, but I think everything is about moderation. But this is a deodorant, um, secret stress response. Um, clinical strength. If you don't want sweaty arm armpits and you wear a nice dress, a nice outfit, a cute shirt, then this is what you need. I don't wear this often because I believe in sweating and I think it's healthy for you, um, but I don't think this will hurt you over time if you use it once in a while. Usually, if I'm using this once um, or twice, like, you know, if I'm going on a trip or something, then I'll like carry this because, you know, I might, you know, be going out looking cute and I don't want to look sweaty sometimes. It has a pretty like, you know, it has a really good scent. Very clean, natural too. It kind of smells a little bit like the body oil that I showed you earlier, the Andaria one, um, the From Osea, but I like this and it, I have had issues with it. And honestly, after I use a conventional deodorant, I usually like giving my armpits like a little detox by like, you know, doing a little body scrub underneath there and like, you know, probably not wearing deodorant for a day just to kind of like let it sweat out and all this extra stuff. So that's that for underarm deodorant. Now we're going to get into when you're using the restroom. Okay. If you're not using wipes, please. You're nasty. I love you though. But you're nasty if you're not. These are wipes that I use. It's from the Good Wipes Company, Down There Wipes. So I have the boxes here. I really love these because they're cheeky. I got them from Target. And these are really good. I, I prefer using wipes after using a restroom because you know it's just good for your lady region it's good for your flower it's good for when you're on your period it's also good for you know when you're doing a number two i know like some people don't think girls take number twos but we do <laughs> it's actually very healthy to do it often but yeah like this is just great to use it has more um healthy ingredients that balances out your pH. They have ones that are just like the pack and then you just open it and take out the cloth, but I really love these singular packs only because with the singular packs, you can legit take it with you and it's just more sanitary. Like if I have company come, I just have these laid out next to the toilet and they could just pick which one of their choosing. So one is sensual seduction. I don't know what's sensual about it, but it's cheeky about what it says. Classy and sassy, yes, I'm both. That's real cute and real adorable. And then this one's my favorite, the rose water one. I really love roses, and rose water is super good for you and moisturizing down there. So definitely partake in these, um, these uh, what's it called, these wipes. And the ingredients are like, I like, like 
there's flower water on this one another one has like lavender chamomile like just ingredients that are just good for you and i just think you know we should go back to nature when it comes to down there and once again i'm purposely not going into feminine hygiene because this video will be way too long and i already feel like it's being too long already but yeah definitely make sure that when you're using the restroom you have wipes on hand that are flushable these ones are flushable and they're not going to clog up your toilet okay so I'm telling you especially with all the water you'll be drinking you're going to go to the bathroom a lot so you want to make sure that you know you're prepared and being prepared is not a bad thing okay so please I beg, do the right thing and wipe up wipe up another girly hack your hair please wash your hair often i don't care if you're wearing your real hair weave a unit wash your hair often because smell from the hair can ruin the whole aura that you're channeling into the world you want to make sure your hair is smelling pleasant okay so wash your body wash you know your clothes wash whatever you need to wash wash face but wash your hair too because hair holds on to smell and you want to make sure that your locks you know they're serving you a look but they're also smelling good because if it smells bad or burnt I'm sorry darling but it's just gonna knock you off your square and you don't want anyone off their square okay you know I love you but I don't love crunchy smelling hair okay We're gonna get into the mouth, okay? So, you know, you see the pearlies. You see me smiling. I'm a smiley person. Fortunately, you know, if I did have stank breath, I don't. No one can smell it because it's just me right here, you know? But it's so important to like brush your teeth, floss your teeth, mouthwash, scrape your tongue. Please do not ignore, honestly, Please, Sha, I need you to take care of your oral hygiene because can you imagine? Can you imagine just everything else being on points and your mouth is rubbish? Please, stop. Let's get into my go-tos. I have an electric toothbrush. Mine is from Burst. I had this for years. My brush head gets replaced like every three months. This brush head is really like detail like it gets in there I like it it's rose gold I've had this for a while and it's kind of not holding a charge as much <laughs> anymore so burst if you're watching this please send me a new one thank you love you mean it toothpaste okay so toothpaste I don't want to get into brands but let's get into some brands I love either Arm & Hammer or Crest Right now, the toothpaste I'm using, Crest, their Brilliance line, basically brightens your smile like really quickly. Like it's it's A1. And Crest, I'm, I don't care, those white strips, if you get the glamorous white ones, like the glamorous white brand, not any other line, Crest Glamorous White, that's all I've used in the past because I've never gotten my teeth professionally whitened. I've never, you know, I've only used their like toothpaste and I've used their white strips glamorous white twice in my life. Um, the last time I used them was probably a few years ago though, but still like my, <laughs> I'm not trying to brag, but my teeth are popping. So I'm telling you, I use this first, brush for one minute, spit out. I don't rinse out, I just spit out after one minute of what I have in the sink. Then I use the whitening finisher. This whitening finisher, do this for like another minute. And you're supposed to brush your teeth for two minutes anyway, so I guess, you know, it works out that way. Then I pretty much spit it out. Then I rinse. Then my teeth are like, ooh, shiny, ew, you know, love it here. Let me know in the comment section whether you brush your teeth first, then floss, or floss your teeth first, then brush. Let me know down below. Speaking of flossing, I love using these Dentec 
Comfort Clean for Sensitive Gums. These are just, you know, picks that I like to use. I think this is like the modern, like African toothpick. <laughs> if you're African, you know, like the toothpicks that be there at dinner after you have some goat, please, a bag. But let's not even go there. Like the goat curry, it, you know, the toothpicks are ready to go. These are really bomb. They're gentle and they stretch. It's flush your teeth twice a day, ladies and gents. Sister and brethren, flush your teeth twice a day. The reason why you do it twice a day in the morning, because you might think, oh, I flossed the night before, why don't I have to do it in the morning? Well, when you sleep, plaque does build up. So the whole purpose is like, even if you don't have food in your mouth, you want to like disrupt the plaque that could grow in between your teeth. And I used to be not like good at this as a kid. I was very stubborn. It's really important to floss because you can have those like interproximal um, cavities, which is basically like cavities in between your teeth because you don't floss enough. And yeah, that cannot be the greatest thing ever and it could be an expensive bill to pay your dentist. So just trying to help you out. Floss your teeth. This is good to just throw in your purse, take with you if you're out to eat, you know. Just the vibes, you know it. And honestly, it makes your mouth smell great because if you have something in your teeth and you don't take it out, your breath is gonna smell. It's gonna, have you ever had something stuck in your teeth and you try so hard to get it out and then when you finally get it out, you just smell it and you realize it's gross. That's why it's so important. The oral hygiene, I don't care if you are a baddie times 10, please. Please, for the love of the good man upstairs. That's all I'm gonna say. We brushed our teeth. We flossed. Amazing. Now, what we're gonna do, we're gonna use mouthwash. You see a theme, this is not sponsored, this is Crest. So this is the Crest 3D White Alcohol-Free Glamorous White Arctic Mint Mouthwash. Really love this. I mean, I anything that has glam on it, I'm buying it because I find myself a bit glamorous myself. <laughs> but I mean, you can't be glamorous without a glamorous smile. Like, please. Honestly, this is like a side comment, but like, I feel like if you are someone that like is glam or you want to be into your vanity, investing in your teeth is, I think the first step before you invest in like plastic surgery or your body or your hair or your makeup. Like, I feel like teeth really matter, um, but that's just me. Oral hygiene matters to me, that's it, yes. I'm not throwing this because if this spill on my carpet, I'm gonna feel the type of way. So we just gonna place it down. This is a step that people might not know about, but your tongue. So this is my tongue scraper. It's made of metal. I have two of these. I kind of rotate them out every other day. And I just kind of, you know, get it out from there. I just ate something, so my tongue might not be the pinkest, but in general, this is really amazing. Please, please, most bacteria is on your tongue. So this really helps to kind of like, when you squeeze it and then put it in the back of your throat and then like pull it out, you'll be surprised what you're scraping off your tongue. Think of your tongue kind of like a carpet, a warm, strong carpet, because the tongue is like a powerful muscle, so let's not forget. But I'm telling you, it'll set the oral hygiene game up times 10, please. And even after I'll scrape, I will do another swig of mouthwash, just a little bit, followed by water. And honestly, like for my like hygiene and stuff, orally, that is really it for me. Um, obviously, you know, keeping mints in my purse and stuff like that, that helps too. Hygiene is very important. And remember in the beginning of the video when I was talking about hygiene starts in the kitchen? I do have some tea. Tea. Now, as a Kenyan American woman, tea is everything. And when I tell you that when you start incorporating tea into your life, right now I have an oolong and a green tea together. It changes the game for how your body flushes out toxins. 
because baby, baby, if you smell bad, usually it's because you have toxins in your body and it's seeping out of your skin. So the skin is the biggest organ of our body and the purpose of our skin is not only to protect, but to also give us signs if something's wrong internally. That's why we have like so many skin conditions or we break out. The skin is breaking out bacteria that's coming out from our body. So when you are flushing out your toxins, that's why, you know, drinking your water is like a given, but also tea, especially green tea, oolong tea, it has the antioxidants in it to kind of help fight the free radicals. You know, like right now in my water, I have a lemon slice in there because lemon also fights um, free radicals due to the vitamin C, you know? It's really important to ingest this. This is still a little hot, but either way. Oh, just kidding, it's good. I got it, okay. Oh, amen, amen. Mm. Drink your tea, drink your water. I'm thinking about doing like a tea video because I have different teas that I take. This isn't like a flat tummy tea type thing, no. Like I take natural teas that are like herbal or caffeine. Both of these have caffeine, but like caffeine is a diuretic, so that also helps flush you out. But you wanna offset that with water so that way you're not dehydrated. I don't drink coffee, tea is my go-to, and I find that when drinking tea on a normal basis, my skin looks better, my waistline looks better. It just helps flush out my body and I don't feel like I have to wear deodorant every single day, you know what I mean? Like I'll spray the, you know, Waleda one, but in general, it's just a given. This girly hacks edition of personal hygiene and smelling good all day, there's so many elements of smelling good. Like, it's really all about how everything is in harmony and balance. And when you're out of balance, that's when our body kind of reacts in a way that could give off a smell because we're out of balance somewhere. And it's up to us to return to that balance and be in that equilibrium. Recap, starting in the kitchen for hygiene, eat your vegetables, drink your water, eat a clean diet so you smell clean clean your body clean yourself moisturize your body you know what i mean um have your wipes that are full of good for you ingredients to use in your flower down there wash your hair so that way your hair doesn't stink and your body smells good if your hair stinks and your body smells good you're gonna smell mixed nobody wants to smell like a mixed bag okay Smell like the bag, not a mixed bag, okay? Period. Period, so actually, please, a bag. We have to keep ourselves accountable because everything kind of ties into what we smell like. Even our clothing, do your laundry. Do your laundry, learn how to do laundry. Take it to the cleaners, I don't care. Clean clothes are gonna make you smell good. You know what I mean? Keep plants in your home so your space smells good. Like, this stuff has an aroma. Like, this is French lilac and lilies. Am I pointing at it? Yeah, lilies. Candles. All this stuff adds to the aura that you're channeling. So when it comes to smelling great and having good personal hygiene, it's just about taking that extra care and detail because it just shows how much self-love you have. Okay, so my name is Evie Odrong. I really hope you love this video. Feel free to ask me any questions. Follow me on social media. If you love this content, like, comment, and subscribe. Share with a friend. I hope to see you next time, babes. Please remember that you glow for a living because you're living within Beyond Skin Deep. And I'll see you next time, all right? Clink, clink. All right? And see you. Bye.